हेलो एवरी वन आई एम राहुल पाटिल असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मेकैनिकल इंजीनियरिंग वालचंद इंस्टिट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट प्रोजेक्शन ऑफ रॉम्बस एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट विल बी एबल टू ड्रॉ द प्रोजेक्शन ऑफ रॉम्बस नाउ कंसिडर द प्रॉब्लम रॉम्बस ए बी सी डी विथ डायगोनल ए सी एंड बी डी सिक्सटी एम एम एंड फोर्टी एम एम इन लेंथ द लॉन्गर डायगोनल मेक्स एन एंगल ऑफ थर्टी डिग्री विद द वी पी एंड द स्मॉलर डायगोनल इज पैरल टू द वी पी एंड फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री इनक्लाइन टू द एच पी ड्रॉ द प्रोजेक्शन नाउ रीड द प्रॉब्लम केयरफुली एंड नोट डाउन द गिवन डेटा फर्स्ट Rhombus is given whose diagonals are 60 mm and 40 mm respectively. Now second condition is longer diagonal makes an angle of 30 degree with the VP. If longer diagonal makes an angle with the VP, then it must appear in the top view. Then what is the primary position for the rhombus then the smaller diagonal is parallel to the vp and 45 degree inclined to the hp now given data inclination with the hp you have to draw in the vp and inclination with the vp you have to draw in the hp now first draw the xy line or xy axis then mark vp and hp now this is the primary stage where rhombus is drawn whose major axis is 60 mm and minor axis is 40 mm name as a a b c d while drawing first stage remember that ac must be longer than bd and size of ac is 60 mm and size of bd diagonal is 40 mm now pause the video and find out what is the top view for the given rhombus in first stage it's simple it's again a line view now draw projection from point a point b c and d here point a and c point a and point c are single whereas point b and d lie on single projectile when you get point a b c and d join this point so that you will get this straight line or a line view in the hp now condition number second where it is inclined so for drawing the inclination remember that inclination point must be marked on the same line here first mark point a and then same length a to c is mark on this line with the 30 degree inclination now inclination with vp is given so it is drawn in the hp because in, in hp it is in true length now same distances you have mark 
a to c and bd whatever the distance from a to b mark on it same b to c distance is there so that a to c distance here is same which is inclined to the 30 degree now similar way draw the projections from point a point b and d and point c similar way draw the projectiles from point a and c again where intersection between this point a and from this point a you will get first point as a point a now similar way projectiles from point b and d where b and d lie on a single projectile here projection from point b and projection from point b you will get first point as a point b here projection from point d and projectile from point d you will get as a point d now you will get a b c d now join this point a b b c c d and a c this is the second stage for the problem now in third stage inclination with the hp is given now inclination with the hp is drawn in the vp now draw a line with the inclination of 45 degree mark bd diagonal on this line so that whatever this bd distance is there you have to mark on this 45 degree mark now remaining distances from b to c and d to c take a compass measure this b to distance b to c and from point b and from point d find out position for point a and position for point c now you will get point a b c d join it you will get the third stage position where it is inclined 45 degree to the hp similar way draw the projectiles from point a b c and d now here again draw the projectile from point a intersection of these two projectiles you will get as a point a again here b and d projection from point b and projection for from point d you will get two points b and d now for point c again draw the projectile at point c and projection from point c you will get fourth point now join this ab bc C, sorry you will get these four points a b c d and this is the solution for the given rhombus where rhombus is inclined 30 degree to the vp and 45 degree to the hp these are the references thank you